I'll just introduce everybody, U.S. Chef to Keith, Robert Dover, second place finisher, Juan Matute Jr., our winner, Adrian Lyle, Tina Kanyat, third place, Alan Mann from Adequan, and AGDF Sport Director, Thomas Bauer. And if you please use the microphone, now that it's working. Um, Adrian, just to expand a little on how you felt with your test and the, the best movements you thought he performed tonight. I was thrilled with my freestyle. He's uh, very spicy. He's kind of hot-headed, especially in the freestyle. So we've been kind of making a plan on how to build up to this and got him out, walked him around, took him back, got him out again, you know, trying to ease him into it. And I think it really worked because he actually felt super rideable. Probably the most rideable he's felt in a freestyle. I'm so thrilled with him. And he had, felt powerful in expression, but he still stayed with me. Um, we redid our choreography a little bit to change, uh, we changed it up, changed the beginning, and I think that helped as well. What do you think are some of the more difficult elements of your choreography? It's kind of hear a word you're saying, it's all right. What are the more difficult elements of your choreography? Thank you. Well, if we start right off, right off from the halt into our Piaf Passage tour, and I thought that went really well. We've got double pirouettes, all of our changes on bending lines. Um, just trying to keep it busy and interesting and, and still rideable. Atmosphere tonight, it's a super atmosphere, and I think it was Tooney's idea to have this all black tie, and I think that's amazing. And again, thanks to the sponsors for doing that. And I forgot to thank out there, thank you to the Thomas family, who have been my sponsors for nine years, eight years with Wizard. And if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have had any of the chances I've had so far in my career. They've been incredible. Juan, did you think you were at a little bit of a disadvantage against the Grand Prix riders because you were a little bit lower level in the sport? I mean, sure. I mean, Grand Prix has a lot of more harder movements, um, no more risk. Um, overall, I think it's just a harder, of course, harder uh, tour. Um, I think I got a really good score. I was super pleased with the score, the audience, of course, and the ride, which is phenomenal. Um, I think I got pretty much all out of the Diego, so it was fantastic. I couldn't ask for more. No complaints. <laughs> Second. <laughs> it was actually my first time in the night class, so I was a bit nervous because the Diego and I have never been uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a big arena like this at night with the lights, the audience. It was a bit, uh, uh, yeah, I was, I was a bit nervous, but um, I trusted him, Diego, and Diego trusted me, so it was um, just a smooth ride. And how do you think he handled it compared to, say, the last couple He actually likes it. I think he likes the, the people looking at him, the, I guess, the pressure of, of everyone watching. I think we both like it. I like it, actually. So, <laughs> 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 it Can you talk a little bit about your freestyle? You sure. Um, it's a freestyle composed both by my uh, mother and father. Uh, my dad uh, chose the choreography, or however you say that, and then uh, my mom uh, fixed it all together. I chose the music, so it was a bit of like a family project, which I think ended up pretty good. So, <laughs> what's the music? Does it have a name? Soundtracks. I just uh, on YouTube. I just went through a lot of YouTube videos. I think it was like either video game or movie soundtracks, and then I purchased them through iTunes. So, it sounded all legal. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. What about the choreography? You tried the one you I did. I actually think I pulled that off pretty good. Uh, we did. Uh, this was our third uh, freestyle, and uh, our <laughs> cleanest, our most, um, I guess, to the limit. You know, push to the limit. Push it, push it to the limit. Okay. And. Um, <laughs> So I think it was our best freestyle so far, and I think the pirouettes, full pirouette with one hand was our, our the highlight of the test today. Did I Yeah, I know, weird. First time he actually comes really? see me ride. What's his name? Gonzalo. Gonzalo. G-U-N-Z-A-L-O. Gonzalo. Gio. That's what I said. G-O. Mom. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Get inside. Get inside. I've been nervous, but okay. <laughs> so, yeah, he plays soccer. He's not really 
too much into horses. He's tried it, actually jumping, but it wasn't his thing, so yeah. He comes from time to time. He actually came today, so good. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Well, I think it's the first time that I'm so thrilled to be third, actually. I'm never, I always want to win, but I'm so excited and so happy. First of all, the young man there, I'm, I'm just overwhelmed watching him ride, the family, this entire feeling of it, it just made me so happy. When we drove in here this evening to see all the people and excitement all revolving around dressage here in South Florida, where I was born and raised in South Florida. It was just, it's an amazing feeling. Thank you so much, Tooney and Dave Page. It's um, tremendous support from these people. Thank you so much to this Global Dressage and Adequan, everyone involved in this joint effort to make this happen. It's so very, very special. So um, normally I like to, to be in first place and I, I pretend to be happy, but I'm actually so thrilled. <laughs> and this is my, my girlfriend here and, and I'm always, I think we both feel the same about each other, that we do very well. And I had a great feeling this evening. My horse felt great. We're just trying to get back up to par again. And thank you, Robert, for all the help and support. Um, tremendous chef to keep. We have coach that's so supportive to each and every one of us individually. And I greatly appreciate that. It was a wonderful evening, and I, I love Calicto. I just, just said that for Ken Braddock, just to... Actually, I'm sorry Stefan's not here because he always made fun of me because I always have to put into this press, I love Calecto. <laughs> It's an old choreography. It's my first freestyle I had with Calicto, and I haven't. I changed a little bit towards the end of it. Um, I haven't changed anything other than that. And the music is so appropriate for the horse. People love it. They associate my music with Calicto. I have often people come up to me and say, "Oh, that song came on the on the radio, or we heard that, and we think of Calicto." So I think it's so appropriate, and the judges also have always agreed with that. You know, I get very high marks for the both for the choreography and the, and the music together. So it's something I've had for some years, and he's 16 years old and I'm 52, and I don't think I'm changing anything at the moment. <laughs> yeah, but I, I made um, some changes at the end, and I won't say that I'm not gonna make changes. Um, I'm sure if, if, if Robert puts the pressure on me, I might have to do, he told me he would like shoot me with a paintball gun or something, so I, I may have to actually. <laughs> When I said to him, Robert, Robert when I, I keep telling him, Robert, I trained with my father today. My father passed away like eight years ago, and I, and I tell him at home, I said, how are things going, Tina? I said, well, I trained with my dad today. He said, that's great. Your dad had you all your life. Now it's my turn. <laughs> Yeah, I think I love my music. It's fun. It's exciting. It gets the crowd going. And I think it, he's got a lot of personality when he gets out there, and the crowd's always into it and hoping and hollering, and he builds on that and feeds on that, and I do too. And I just think it's it's fun. It's really fun to ride too. Alan, um, as you've seen each week progressing, what's the feeling like, or how is it different with Nations Cup? Well, well, first of all, Adrian, Juan, Tina, wonderful evening, beautiful horses. Tooney and Dave, thank you so much, Thomas, for your staff and all that you're doing for the press, for letting the world know what's happening down here in Wellington. It's just unbelievable. Um, the element of the Nations Cup and the team competition is just another element that takes it to another level. I think of Robert Dover and, and his vision for the U.S. and what their hopes are going down the road. And I just think of this environment and all that it's bringing to the world of dressage and just the excitement of the competition for the individuals, for the teams. And we're just thrilled to be a part of it. And I'm, I'm just so overwhelmed by the uh, gratitude that the riders, the trainers, the owners have uh, really shown us for just being a little piece of the puzzle 
I think it takes a, a, a community of people really to make this work and I'm just so humbled to be part of it. And again, Tooney, just for everything you do for this industry, for all the time and investment you've made into the sport, um, you know, it's, it just uh, it really touches my heart. So thank you very much. Listen, I, I have been <clears throat> unbelievably proud of all of our riders throughout the Nations Cup. Uh, the, the A team that won, our B team that was fantastic as well, and had so many riders progress into the final tonight on uh, both the Intermediaire Freestyle and the Grand Prix Freestyle. Of course, these guys are all fantastic. This one too, the only problem with this one is that he's wearing the wrong thing on his Coat, but hopefully that can be rectified too in the future. And um, the only other thing I would like to say is uh, Debbie McDonald is the best person and the, and the best coach a group of people can have. And she and I together make uh, a really strong team and with Scott Hassler and Jeremy and the, uh, all the coaches and all the staff with Jenny Van Weeren and everybody that's come here from USEF. This country is ready to move forward and we are going to move forward no matter what. Our riders on the West Coast are competing today as well and did amazing jobs in the Grand Prix. Uh, winning with Stefan Peters with uh, I think a run of 76% with Gunter over 72%. And so both coasts are working away and Deb and I and the other coaches, we are determined along with our great federation to move this country, not just to a medal podium, but to the highest one. And I wanna also thank Tooney, Dave. I wanna thank everyone from Adequate for uh, Alan from Adequan, and obviously everybody from Global Dressage Festival, uh, everyone that from ESP and uh, the web partnerships, and all of the founders that have made this all happen. Because this is for me, this has been the dream. <clears throat> this showgrounds for a long, long time, from before it was ever here, and it was only a a, a polo place. And Ken Braddock helped us to shape it as well and uh, we fought very hard, right? All of us to make this all happen and, and I'm really proud of all of it. My turn to thank my people. <laughs> <laughs> of course I want to thank the great sponsors, um, the staff, the office, the organization, everyone who made this show possible had the best experience ever. Uh, it was a great week both in the team and of course individual. Um, yeah, just also my Yawa uh, Limas, my uh, sponsor from Spain, Javier and Cristina being the owners. Um, they've been a great support. A thousand thanks is not enough. Um, I'm just really uh, glad to be able to call them family, I guess, right? And, uh, you know, everyone from going from the security to the judges to every single one, thank you. Right? <laughs> right. Amen. in our Friday Night Stars and having the, the scores, the top three being within 1% of each other, uh, showing the top competition and just your thoughts on, on the night as a whole. Thank you. I mean, I, I have to be honest, I think Alan covered everything beautifully, absolutely beautifully, as did the Riders and Robert, uh, I, I I mean it's an unusual situation to have the Intermediaire One and the Grand Prix compete against each other, but uh, in this instance, I honestly think the cream really rose to the top. Um, I, I my sense of it is that the judges are really satisfied with the results that they got, and I'm assuming Adrian's particularly satisfied with the results, <laughs> and apparently Tina's satisfied with the results, and 
Jan says everything's fantastic. Juan is so. No, I think it. I think it was a really good result, and I my my sense of it is that there was enormous synergy here tonight with the crowd, with the people partying in the VIP tent, the general admission. Everybody was in really, as they say in Germany, oh, everybody's in a good mood. And I always laugh about this good mood thing, but they really were in a good mood, and I think. Uh, we got a little bit of heat for trying to push for this black tie concept, and um, we all said, okay, you know, relax. It's much more important that we have everybody here and comfortable, so just kick it up a notch. Uh, so cocktail attire or black tie, and, I, you know, getting glammed up is fun, but it's not highly important, but I think it really made everybody feel like this was a little bit special. And the great thing is that GDF puts on this enormous tour of shows and our challenge is to make each show special because each show is special. There's a sponsor just like me behind every single show. So I was lucky enough to draw the straw that made me be the sponsor of the Nations Cup, but it's no less important than the Duda Corporation or Kim Boyer or Carol Cohen or the Collins or any of the other sponsors. So it's just finding a niche that makes it a little bit special for your team. And in my team's case, it's my farm and lots of people that are really, really proud to call Still Point Farm home. So uh, for them, it's a little bit special too. They've all been involved in here doing prize givings and so on and so forth. So it was just a really great synergy between the audience and the riders and they all spoke to how the audience supports their riding and for sure these three riders brought huge response, they elicited huge response from the audience and I think that speaks to the truth of uh, what they had, tremendous harmony and lots of risk and, and risk that they pulled off so I say bravo or andale, I don't know, <laughs> andale. that um, uh, the black tie event, considering uh, I got a, a 1966 port from Dave, you can have black tie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Wrapping something more. This is just one more thing. This is first time. You've been into sound like Gina. One more thing. Just one. One last thing, um, I want to thank my dad, my father, please come on up here, yes, 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 this medal, this medal, I know it has been me that I was in the ring and performed great and we did a 75, but listen, listen, don't cry yet, don't cry yet, in front of everyone, uh, he is the reason I'm here, he is my number one coach, uh, everything I know, everything I've learned is because of him, so, uh, no one. <laughs> I can't take it off. <laughs> this medal is for you. <laughs> this is beautiful. Yours. <laughs> um, <laughs> I love that boy. <laughs> Gina.